Okay, but I literally found the coolest palette ever. So I was scrolling on my Instagram one day and I see this, which is a big box of 64 shades shadow palette. And this is made by the crayon case. First of all, look at this packaging. It literally looks like a box of crayons. Amazing. A plus. Let's slide it open. So this is what the actual palette looks like. Pretty much the same as the packaging. And this is what it looks like in the back. I'm shocked. Now for the moment of truth. Let's open her up. Ta-da! And the other side. Ta-da! Look at all these shades. We literally have some glitters in here. We have shimmers. We have literally everything you ever need. I cannot wait to try this. This is hands down the best makeup collab of the year. If you can't already tell, this is the I Heart Revolution Fruity Pebbles collab. And we have a lot of things here. First, this beautiful brush set. Next, we have Fruity Pebble and Cocoa Pebble lip glosses. This packaging is so pretty. Next, let's take a look at the Fruity Pebbles eyeshadow palette. She's absolutely gorgeous. And here's the Cocoa Pebbles one. And last but not least, we have these two beautiful highlighters. The gorgeous Fruity Pebble one. And the Cocoa Pebbles. I am absolutely obsessed with this collection. What do you guys think? Amazon has done it again. So I was scrolling on my Amazon recommended and I stumbled up upon these. I will give you a second to take this in. These are rose foundation brushes. Let me take one out for you. Look at how beautiful it is. And it's also really heavy. And here's all three of them side by side. It's like a little bouquet of roses. And I cannot wait to test them out. Have you guys seen the new Essence Princess palettes? Because these are probably some of the cutest palettes on the market. First we have Snow White. It has 14 colors and here's what the color scheme looks like. Absolutely love that blue. Next, we have Aurora, which has these beautiful pink pastel colors. Absolutely stunning. Next, we have Ariel, which is definitely my favorite palette out of all of them because just look at this color scheme. I'm obsessed with it. Let me know which one of these you guys want me to test out or should I test out all three? Just like every other makeup brand on the market, I Heart Revolution came out with this beautiful Disney collab. I was able to get only two palettes and a highlight. First, we're going to talk about the Little Mermaid palette. This packaging is so beautiful. The inside of the palette is quite unique. You have your blushes, bronzes, and highlighters on one side and the eyeshadow on the other. Next, the Cinderella palette. Once again, this packaging is to die for. Here we have a little bit of a different color of the highlighters, bronzers, and blushes. And we have all these beautiful blue eyeshadows. And last but not least, we have Beauty and the Beast highlighter. I think it might be a little bit too light for me, but it looks very beautiful in the pan. Let me know what you think about these. This makeup palette from the Chinese cosmetics brand Floresis is truly unique. Today I'm going to be swatching some of the colors from this brand new and truly stunning palette. Beautifully embossed, it contains highlighter, eyeshadow, and blush. The colors are beautifully pigmented and slide on effortlessly. It also comes with a pair of gorgeous jade earrings, and in case you're wondering, the lipstick too is Floresis. Did you guys know that Gucci has a makeup line? Because the $62 bronzer better be worth it. It's probably one of the most expensive bronzer I've ever owned, and I got mine in shade two. Here is what it looks like inside. It's honestly so bougie. It comes in like this soft velvet bag. And here's what the bronzer itself looks like. Honestly, it looks absolutely stunning. Just look at that. Wow. And it also comes with a brush. Should I test it out and actually see if it's worth the money? Every time I post a video talking about blushes, at least one person comments asking me to review the Dior Backstage blush, so I got it. 
First of all, the packaging is so cute. This is what she looks like. She's a pale pink. And this blush blew up on TikTok because apparently it's Kylie Jenner's favorite. So of course we're trying. This blush apparently gives everyone like their own customized like glow depending on their pH level, like it reacts with your body. So let's try her out. So I love this look so much. <laughs> also the detailing on this blush, ugh. Okay, where is she? Stop, but this is so pretty. Oh my God. Are you, are you serious? I'm sorry, but I look so good right now. Mm. Look at how cool this is. When you first apply it, nothing. And then it slowly turns rosy. Y'all, I can't lie. This is bomb. I look so good. So good. Unboxing Elf X Chipotle. This limited edition collection launches March 10th. It's so cute. The palette is inspired by Chipotle ingredients with 12 shimmer, matte, and metallic shades. Loving all the greens. Extra guac two-piece sponge set. How adorable is this? It looks like an avocado. Yum. Hot salsa plumping lip gloss with vitamin E and coconut oil. The makeup bag fits everything inside and looks like a Chipotle takeout bag. I'm using this collection in my next TikTok, so come back tonight to see how it turned out. If you don't know my history with ColourPop, I haven't ordered or bought any ColourPop products in over two years because I just was never blown away by any of their products. I wanted to try to give them a second chance. I did a ColourPop haul just last week. I was pretty blown away by the products that I did get, so I decided to grab more. So let's dive in. So the first thing I got was another Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm. But this time I got the shade Light. So last time I ordered I got the shade Fair, which is this one. But it's just a little lighter than I'd like. So I think this one will be perfect. So the next item I got was this Freckle Pen in the shade Soft Brown. I never really got into the freckle trend. But I thought it was cute, so I figured I'd give it a try. And besides, I want to see how cute I would look with some damn freckles. I was a little worried it'd show up orange, but it actually is a really good color. The last thing I grabbed was the Fade into Hue palette. I had to grab it because I figured this would be the product that makes or breaks my love for ColourPop. Pink lip products. These are Q-tip lipsticks. So you pop it, and then the lip product goes down here, and apply. This is a hydrating and exfoliating lip mask. A super cute lip balm, and then this is a lip gloss. Lip masks, of course. This is a cotton candy pop socket lip balm that you attach to your phone. And this cute Aguas Frescas lip smacker. So I got this advent calendar, 12 Days of Wispies Lashes by Ardell from Ulta. And uh, let's open her up. I can't do this with one hand. Wow, they look so pretty. Also, I love the pink monochrome moment okay let's open one we have these now two Ooh, these are pretty three there's like not anything in here but i'm guessing it's the glue moving on to four Oh, wow. I'll see you in part two. I'm trying the new Avani X Morphe collection. Avani is incredible at makeup, so I was so excited when she sent me this insanely huge press box to play with. The first product I tried was the For the Bebs Artistry palette. I combined the shades Lil Poppy Vani, Sonia, and Star Emoji, and I loved how pigmented they were. There were also three different Vacation Luminous bronzers, including one I applied called Kali, a super glowy Woe well Glow face and body illuminator, the Love You Lip Duo and Yes Red, which glided on perfectly, a black lipstick called Show Don't Tell, and three lip glosses. I'm not surprised, but Avani's new line is a must-have for your makeup collection. I know it seems super excessive to buy beauty products from a designer brand, but I highly recommend everyone do it at least once. The experience is just so luxurious and you honestly feel so fancy while opening everything. Look at these samples. That mini perfume bottle was just so cute and the samples just kept coming and those alone are worth the unboxing. I bought myself a couple different products, including the viral blush. I really had to work hard to finally get this, but I'm so excited to try it. And I also got a couple lip tints in the shades Raspberry and Rosewood. Let me know if you want to see what they look like on. Join me to unbox two of the most beautiful makeups that I have ordered to date from Alpha Beauty. This is the Angel Aria Highlighter. Now the name of the tone is Aria. 
if you want to order this the packaging is insanely beautiful look at that highlighter and this is the unicorn setting powder I cannot wait to use this setting powder to see how good the product is on my skin but the detail is insanely beautiful and crazy I cannot deal with this now if you want to pause to see the tone numbers for these lipsticks go right ahead now for the star of the show this is the flower nose rubble palette there's actually two versions of this palette there's the angel version and there's also the rubble version which is the one i picked i took this one because i do not have these pigments but i will be making a part two so that you can see how these colors look on my skin i'm so excited to show you guys Nars sent me this super cool beauty box. Let's check it out. Let's see what's inside. This is a highlighter in a bronzer, I think. Their classic bronzer, which is my favorite. And a matte version. A lip gloss and two eyeshadows. This is the lip gloss. This is probably the prettiest collection I have ever seen. Look how beautiful this mascara looks. And this butterfly is also a ring. Let me show you. So you could just take it off like that. And there you go. It's a little big on me, but it still looks so pretty. Now let's take a look at the lipstick. Here's what the lipstick looks like. It has the same butterfly ring on it. And this is the shade that I got. And look at this engraving. So I'm honestly so impressed with this. Now look at this highlighter. If this is not the prettiest packaging you have ever seen, then you clearly lying to yourself. And this is what it looks like inside. Let me swatch it for you. Makeup Revolution did not come to play with this. So pretty. And all three of these are definitely going to go on my makeup display. Look at what just arrived. This is the beautiful mini high gloss collection. And on the back, you can give it as a little valentine with the to and from. Also, the inside of the packaging is stunning. And look at all of these different shades of lip glosses. And then the eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. I'm really excited to play with this because I think it'll look really good with my purple hair with all the purple shades. Stormy World looks amazing. I just love the combination of all of these shades. There are these three beautiful lip kits and I've been wanting a shade just like this one, which is Head in the Clouds. It's a really bold purplish pink, so I can't wait to wear that one. Everything in this collection is absolutely stunning. Yay, my long-awaited parcel has arrived! So I bought Colourpop Time... I purchased Colourpop Time's Barbie makeup set. It's so cute! So this is the hand mirror. This beach party is a super shocking highlighter. I have plenty of lashes but I don't know, I just get it. And this one is their lip duo kit in the shade Golden Beach. I bought the whole set actually. Look at the color, it's so cute. They're much like nude. Okay, this one is the Malibu Barbie eye palette. Ni lang kita paling tunggu tunggu sangat sangat. Oh my god! The colors are so cute. I can't wait to play with them. Let me know if you want to know how I purchased this. Everybody is so quick to jump on horse girls and car guys for being like the most annoying type of people. But I think we are forgetting about chapstick girls. Girls whose whole personality consists of just Blistex and Carmex. And they, they have a, a chapstick everywhere. Products BTS members you. Burt's Bees 100% natural tinted lip balm with shea butter and botanical waxes. Nam June and Jungkook was spotted using this during one of their concert in 2019 and went viral. This album was sold out everywhere during that time.
This really shows you how much we pay for packaging. This is Black Cat Lip Balm from Cheap to Expensive. This one you can get as cheap as $4.50. It's by Lip Smackers. You can get it around Halloween. This one, I actually got it at a gas station on a road trip, so not a lot of info, but it was like $7. Now, this last one, I just got it the other day. It's actually pretty heavy. There's metal. The lid's magnetic. There's detail on the lip balm. This one, you guys, is $29 on Amazon. So Glossy Pop sent me a packet. They sent me this bag that has my name on it and my Instagram. Okay, now let's see what they sent. Oh my gosh. These are the three that I really, really, really wanted. I'm going to show you why Glossy Pops are so cool. So when you pop open the top, it's a lip balm. Then at the bottom, it has a cute little charm. Then when you unscrew the bottom, there's a lip gloss. Isn't that cute? I just got a new flavor of the Aguas Frescas Lip Smacker. This one is strawberry orange. This is so cute. So you guys know I like this product. I think it's really cute. You open the top and you get a lip balm, and then if you twist the bottom off, you get a lip scrub. So then I was kind of wondering if there are other products that are made the same way that have both of them in the same container, and I came across this one. Now this one is actually $5 cheaper, so that's good to start with, and then also this one is purple. I'll be trying it out in a bit to see how I actually like the balm and the scrub. This one also comes with an applicator, which the other one does not have. So if you twist this off, you have your lip balm, which you can see is nice and shiny, and then you have your lip scrub, which you can see a little bit of the dots there. So I think this is really pretty. I'm excited to try it, and it's cheaper.